All right. I'm I'm making this video uh, to show people how to install Viber on Ubuntu 16.04. Um, the 64-bit version. Uh, I've already downloaded the Viber.deb file on my desktop. And the way you do that is you go here to, you go to basically Viber.com. Viber. I just want to show you. It's really easy. So you go to Viber. And right here you see it says get Viber desktop. And then you go to Viber Debian. And right here, I just saved that file to the desktop. Um, so, um, so, and then that's what I have right here. That's the file I have right there. Okay. So, the other thing you need to do is you need to um, open a terminal. Very easy. Well, I have uh, a dock that's got the terminal on there anyway. I'm not sure how to. I'm not sure what the the uh, keyboard shortcut is for the terminal. Well, anyway, you have to put over here cd space. Then you drag this file into here. Well, we got to get rid of, we got to get rid of, we want to only want to go to the desktop. We want to get rid of that. Then I'm going to, because we have to get rid of that little, whatever that is up there. Enter. And now we're at the desktop. Okay. Now, I've already copied and pasted. We got to. So I already copied a command from another website. You paste that command here, sudo space dpkg space dash i space, whatever that little thing is, dot deb. Push enter. And then you obviously it's gonna ask you for your password. Okay. And that's it. It's starting to work. Unpacking Viber. It doesn't take that long. Probably maybe, I don't know, a minute or two. Depends how fast you're. Oh, it's already done. Okay. So, right here, it says launch this new application. Okay, let's launch it. And there it is. It's Viber is installed. The problem I had before is I would download the Viber to my desktop and I double click on it and that did not work. You have to open up a terminal, terminal go to the directory. This is on the desktop so you got to go to the desktop directory and then put this, I'll do it again, paste put that file sudo space dpkg space dash i space asterisk I guess dot deb so and you have to be at the desktop because that's where that file is on the desktop I mean you could be it could be anywhere if it's in downloads then you just gotta go to downloads but this right here is what's important Oops this command line. Once you do that, you know, it's going to ask you for password, but you put uh, your password and enter and that's it. And it installs. All right, over and out.